Hi, welcome everyone. My name is Bruce Schwartz. I'm from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Thanks so much for subscribing everyone, for stopping by. Just as curious as me, I'm sure, finding beautiful things on the surface of the moon. We're going to see some nice close-ups, some nice color, possible atmosphere again. I'll let you guys analyze the moon here's Mary Serenitatis, Archimedes crater coming up, the Apennine Mountains. Beautiful surface that has a lot of green, whether it be vegetation or not, natural or not some kind of a moss, who knows? We're still going to uh, take a nice close look at it. And with the exposure well adjusted, obviously the color comes out entirely by itself. It really is there. Those just arriving, um, I'm using a 14 inch uh, CGXL 1400 HD telescope. It gives us a lot of detail. I have a lot of definition, a lot of depth. And the colors on the surface that we are seeing is the overall color basically on the moon. There is definitely a surface that is entirely green. Almost the entire moon is green. Even these areas, even Clavius Crater, that light, whatever the heck it is, the veil, whether it's natural, whether it's camel, hologram, who knows? I'm not gonna holographic image. I'm not going to rule anything out because of course, Imagine a holographic image. Could you imagine how cheap that would be? Oh my goodness. You know, and that the UFOs we are seeing is a projection. Because why am I mentioning this? <laughs> no, I don't personally think that. But I don't rule it out. But in the comments, many people are saying it. You know, I respect your thoughts. And I appreciate those who leave their comments. Because, you know, I'm only human and I only have my own opinions. But... What I'm getting, I'm getting, but it doesn't mean it's what I say it is. That's for sure. I'm just giving my opinion most of the time. But what we are seeing, look at this square crater inside Clavius Crater. What the heck is up with that? Four walls like that and something dead centered. It's elevated off the surface. These things, you know, we don't notice it, but it's so, so real.
Seeing the structures have the same reflectivity as the surface, they're very hard to distinguish and to set it apart from the surface. It all blends in, right? This is Copernicus Crater. Around it on the bottom, there really is, okay, I assure you, some structuring. Could be ancient, but again, that's, never mind what I'm saying if you're not interested, it's just my opinion. But there is something there. And all I do know is that so long me it's constructed. You know? It's sort of obvious. And under the haze or smoke or dust that's on the surface, pause this. Look at the detail in the center there. Look at how the things are connected. And it's incredible that it has the same, this is beside Eratosthenes crater, the three dots in the center and this other object there. Look at the beautiful colors on the bottom. Minerals, lakes, maybe not lakes, but isn't it beautiful that the moon is that colorful? Because it really, really is. This is the north side of the moon, a part that I, look at the bottom right there. <laughs> I mean, it's incredible. And look at how the areas that are lit up, those are reflective surfaces. If these were tin roofs, that's silly. Look at this is beautiful. This there, okay guys, it's not tampered with. It's that I'm using a filter to be able to bring down anything bright and to bring light to anything dark and it adjusts the exposure at the same time and it shows you a virtual surface. I've done the tests with objects on Earth. I've done the tests with other photos. Uh, you know, I assure you, there's no tampering here. Isn't it beautiful? This is the north side of the moon. Looks like a bunch of constructed objects. Obviously, it is. It's not ejecta. That's absolutely impossible because ejecta would not form flat, straight edges like this. This is absolutely not pixelation. Look at this. What do you think of that? Um, it could be a chimney stack or, of course, tower. I'm talking about its shape, right? Standing up. What is this? These are the best proofs, and I love showing you guys this. This is proof, guys. You see what we're looking at? You know, no, not interesting, right? Like beautiful buildings, but massive objects and... Is there something's going through those tunnels? That is for sure. And speaking of tunnels, I'm going to show you something that could be anything. And again, I always throw out a couple of words like if I believe it's a tunnel, I'll also add bridge, corridor, path, pathway. You know, we have to remain open minded to be able to see and know what's on the surface because we're looking for things that are from Earth. And although they're very similar, it's not exactly the same um, what's going on up there. A lot of constructed objects, but piping, tunneling, all together. It's just incredible. Straight, symmetrical objects that run for... Oh, yeah. The dark objects are really intriguing me. This looks like a square. Yes, it's a bit roundish, of course. The little bit of the blur with the haze. And what's that in the center? Do you see the tunnel? Right? It looks like a tunnel. Could even be a water dam, <laughs> massive bridge, anything. You know, that's what's interesting. But guys, it's constructed. You can see it for Pete's sakes. Come on. Some of you are not seeing it. I know hey, everyone here is seeing it. But a lot of people arrive here and say, I do not see nothing. 